What is going on guys, it's Modded Warfare here, welcome back to another PS4 tutorial. So this is going to be a follow-up video on the tutorial I made not so long ago about installing game updates offline via a USB drive, specifically showing you guys how to install older game updates so that, you know, if there was a, a glitch that was patched in a newer version of the game, you can go back to the older version to access it or some kind of seasonal event that uh, was patched out in newer versions. You can go back and access that again by installing the older updates and that's because sony does not allow you to install older updates onto your games whenever you connect to psn and download a game update it will always grab the very latest game update available it doesn't give you the option on which game update you want to install so that's what that video was about but in that video um, i also mentioned that you could also use this method to install uh, reinstall any games that you've purchased on your account using a USB drive. You could install them that way. So we're talking about, you know, game DLC, like add-ons, and also, you know, the games themselves, themes, any of that kind of stuff that you've purchased on your account, you can install offline via this USB method. And that was one of the biggest questions I got in that previous video was, you know, how do I find the downloads for all of my purchase content on my PSN account so that I can, you know, download them to my computer and then I'll be able to install them offline via the USB drive whenever I want. This is particularly useful if you're somebody who has bad internet on your PS4. You can download them on your computer or you can, you know, take an external hard drive and a laptop to an internet cafe or to work or school or college or whatever uh, where there's better internet download the games uh, directly to your external hard drive on your computer when you have better internet and then when you get home to your ps4 you can then install those games add-ons dlc updates or whatever offline via the usb drive using this method so a lot of great reasons to do this here so i'm not gonna i'm gonna kind of skim over the stuff that i already covered in the previous video so please watch that video first on installing older game updates offline via a usb drive um, that will walk you through the whole process. I'm going to kind of skim over that here because this video is specifically on showing you guys how to actually access all of the downloads on your computer for all of your purchase content on your PSN account so that you can use this method with all of the all of the stuff you've purchased on your account. So that is essentially what we're covering here in this video. Also, you do not require a jailbreak or any kind of hack in order to do this. This will work on a normal standard PlayStation 4 on any firmware. Okay, so if I switch over to the computer here, there's a few different ways that you used to be able to do this. They kind of no longer work with the new store because the, the Sony changed the store not so long ago and those older methods do not work now with this new version of the store. Luckily though, there is an older version of the store that you can still access. So this is kind of a limited time thing. I don't know how long this is going to work. Hopefully these programs that no longer work on the new store will eventually work on the new store, but right now they don't. Um, so there is still a way to access the older version of the PSN store right now. So what I'd recommend you do is go on the normal PSN store, this one right here, and sign into your PlayStation account. Then from there, you want to click this link in the description. This is one I found. Credit to the guy here on Twitter who posted this. Uh, link to the older store. It will be linked in the description. Uh, if you click this, this will take you to the old PSN store. As you can see, it's still functional here. Uh, it will tell me to go to the UK version because it, that link was for the US version. So just click to proceed to go to whichever uh, regional version uh, it wants you to go to. And then once you're on it here, we can go back to this uh, page here and click this link. Now, you need to make sure you're accepting third-party cookies. So it says always accept third-party cookies in your browser. You can do that by going to the, the little three dots here in the top right-hand corner and then go to um, settings, scroll down to cookies and other site data and allow cookies. Make sure you check this button to allow cookies and then this should work. So then you just click this link and it should give you a list of all of the purchase content on your account. This is just one big JSON file that contains all the information for all the purchase content on your account. So all you have to do is control A to highlight that and copy it. Now, if this doesn't actually work, if it just came up with one line and it said the session expired, then, you know, re-sign into your account on PlayStation.com and refresh and try again. So. Once you've got all of this information, we're just going to copy it here 
and then we're going to basically convert this into a more readable format so if we use a json formatter this will be linked in the description as well you just paste it in here click process and that will give us a formatted version of the file that's much easier to read and then we'll just put that in a notepad document and save it save it as file type all files and then just call it something.json so i'm going to do psn backup dot json and save it and that will save it as a json file then i'm just going to open a new tab and drag this in in chrome so that we can see it clearly all right so basically everything is in here so all the download links for all of your purchase content so uh, if i just search for dot json in this file we'll get all the different json files so this one here is the one for the game so you can see black ops 3 game.json so that is the one i want but as you can see there is the same thing for every for all of your content so you've got um you know this one is a is a map pack or one one map for the game that i also purchased on my account so that's right there i could download that dlc uh, there's also you know the nuketown uh, nuketown map pack uh, if i scroll down further we've got other stuff there's map pack 2 map pack 3 map pack 4 uh, a theme another theme uh, there's uncharted another game so all of your content is right there obviously we want the game here i'm gonna i'm gonna install the game plus an older update for the game uh, just to show that this works so we just copy the link here for this json file and we'll open up a new tab and paste that in so this gives you all of the download links because the game is split into different parts just like how large updates are split into different parts it's the same with dlc it's the same with games they're all split into multiple parts so we're just going to copy all of the data that's in here and i recommend using j downloader um, let me just delete everything that's popped up here so j downloader is a download manager that will allow you to download all of the files at once it just makes things much easier again everything will be linked in the description including this download manager so if you head into the link grabber on JDownloader 2, you just right click and you go to add links. You paste everything in here, all of the different parts, click continue, and that will add them all in. Then we're just going to highlight them by selecting one, dragging down. So we basically select everything and then right click and go to other, move to a new package and just get rid of the, the number at the end. And that will consolidate them all into one, one folder so that they're all together. And then you just click the play button to start the download. If you're looking for any uh, game updates to add as well, game updates will not be included in this list. This is only for purchased content and updates don't count as purchased content. So if you also want to install updates offline, then you just have to go to orbispatches.com like we did in the previous video and then search for the game. Uh, so Black Ops 3 right here. And as you can see, my version of Black Ops 3 yeah, my version of Black Ops 3 is CUSA 02624. So I just make sure on Orbis patches that the update that I want to download is for 02624, the same version. And then as you can see, there's lots of different updates that I can install, older updates even that I can install. So let's say I want 1.32. I can select 1.32 and copy all of the links here for 1.32, which will automatically add them in JDownloader 2 just like this and then from there I can go back into J Downloader 2 and do the same thing I did again go to other move to a new package and there we go so now we have the game and the update ready to download you just click the download button there and it will start downloading them same with DLC as well it works in the exact same way so as you can see, I've already got the game downloaded here. You just hit the play button when you're ready to start the download and it'll start downloading all of the files. So now that we have it downloaded, we can right click and open download directory. And that will take us to where the download is, where all of the package files are that it downloaded. And because this method doesn't work with installing the individual parts, you have to merge them into one file like this one right here that I've already done, which you can do by using the package merging utility which again will be linked in the description basically you just drag this file in uh, to the same location as your package files you copy all of your package files into a folder called input 
and then you just drag the input file over the package merging tool and that will merge them all into one file like it did just here. If you actually want to see that working, check the previous video uh, that's linked in the description. Once you've done that, you do the same thing with the, the game update as well. As you can see, I've got the game update also merged into one file using the same method. And then you just copy these two uh, you know, files, the game, the update, any DLC, and you copy them onto the USB drive. So the files that you need to put on your USB drive are in this enhdd.rar file. So you just open up this rar archive and basically extract all of the data that's in here, all of the files that are in here, you want to extract into the root of your USB drive. Once it's copied into the root of the USB, uh, you can then copy all of the package files into the package directory. So, you know, your Black Ops 3 game and the update, you just want to copy them from your download directory right here into the package directory on your USB drive. Uh, and then once it's copied over, you can install it on the PS4. Now, again, you need to make sure your USB drive is formatted in the correct format, which is XFAT format. So if you right click on your USB drive and you go to properties, you want to make sure the file system is XFAT because if it's not, you'll have to right click and reformat it and select XFAT as the file system. Um, so yeah, once you've got the files copied over and you've got the games copied over, again, I'm skipping through this quite quickly because I've already covered it in the previous video. Um, but once you've got your D any DLC you want to reinstall, to get any games you want to reinstall, themes, any of your purchase content, basically you're wanting to reinstall, you just put them in the package directory here on the USB drive and then eject the USB drive and plug it into your PS4. Okay, so once we're on the PS4, we're just going to need to run the auto package install. Now, if you don't have these two apps on your PS4, then we need to install them. Now, this does not require a jailbreak. These apps are not any kind of uh, hacked apps or anything. These are actually system apps that have just been renamed. Um, but in order to get them onto your PS4 on a retail PS4, you are going to need to restore uh, a backup. So if you go to settings and you scroll down to system and then go down to backup and restore, if you go to restore the PS4, you'll see there's a backup already on here that you can restore, but make sure you make a backup of your own PS4 stuff first because restoring this backup will overwrite all of your stuff. So you'll basically lose everything uh, on your PS4. So if you have a lot of stuff on your PS4, you're going to want to make sure you back up the PS4 first. Um, so make your own backup first. Then once you have your own backup, you can then restore this backup. Um, that way you can always go back to your stuff. Your stuff is all backed up um, so you won't lose it all. So once you, once you do this, once you restore this backup, you'll have these two system apps here on your PS4. So at that point, all you have to do is run the package auto install and it will give you an error message uh, saying it cannot run. Click OK. It is actually running though, because if you hit the options button, you can see it says close application, which means it is running in the background. So it's working. So all we have to do all this app basically does is it allows us to install um, stuff from the USB drive. It allows us to, to install PS4 content locally via the USB. So all we're going to do is unplug our USB drive and plug it back into the PS4. And then that should, you know, make it recognize that the, there's an update there. And there we go. As you can see, it starts installing it. So we've got Black Ops 3, which is now installing. It's added to downloads. If I go into the notifications, you can see it's downloading the update as well. So we've got the game downloading here and the update downloading, which is over basically 70 gigabytes uh, that we're installing. And look how fast it's installing. This is my point right here when it comes to people with bad internet. If you're somebody who has a poor internet connection and you've got a PS4 and you're you know trying to buy games and download these huge updates and DLC, then, like I say, you can just take an external hard drive to your work or school or college um, or an internet cafe that has decent internet and you can download these games to your external hard drive on your computer. Then when you come back home to your PS4, you can plug it in and use this method to install them. And as you can see, they're installing pretty fast. In the short time I've just been talking there, we've already downloaded five gigabytes of the update already probably a similar equivalent amount we've downloaded on to the game as well. So yeah, it's definitely useful for that. And it's also useful for just having a backup of 
all of your paid content on your computer. So if anything ever happens to the PS4 servers, then you can ha you still have all of that stuff backed up on your computer. You can install locally, offline. And also, of course, if you're wanting to install older game updates, because Sony forces you to download the very latest game update whenever you download a game update for your game. Well, if you want to install an older update to access an old glitch or you know, older content that was removed in newer updates, then you can, of course, use this method to install those older game updates. And, uh, you know, just like with the disc, except you can also do it now here with your digital games as well. So just to clear a few things up, the reason why it has a padlock symbol on it right here is because I don't actually have the license for this game on this account right now because the account that's on my PS4 is not the same account that's on that I purchased Black Ops 3 on. Um, so, you know, in order to make sure that the game's actually going to be runnable for you, you need to make sure that the account that your PS4 is signed in on is the same PSN account that you purchased all of your content on and that uh, you still have the licenses for those games on your PS4. Uh, you don't have to be signed into PSN as long as you have signed into PSN on your account at one point in the past, um, then you'll still have the licenses for your games on your PS4. Um, if you don't have the licenses for your games on the PS4 anymore, even though you're on the right account, uh, the game still shows up with a padlock, then you'll have to sign into PSN on your account just to sync all, all of your licenses so that the games will be runnable. But um, as long as you still have the run, as long as you still have the licenses on your hard drive, then you should be fine. The games will be runnable and all of your DLC and stuff will be runnable, even if you haven't signed into PSN in a while. So yeah, don't worry about that. And if you're wondering about some of these weird apps that I have on my PS4, this PS4 is jailbreakable, but you do not need to have a jailbreakable PS4 in order to do this. It will work on a normal PS4, even on the latest firmware. So yeah, and I've kind of showed that in my previous videos as well. All right, and there you go. As you can see, the game is installed with the update. If I go to information, you can see it's on version 1.32, which is the not the latest update. It's uh, one update older than the latest update for, the, uh, for Black Ops 3, just to show you that you can install older updates. So yeah, that's basically it. That's how you can install your... That's basically how you can get a backup of all of your game downloads for, you know, all of your digital games, everything you've purchased on your account and download them locally to your computer and install them locally offline using a USB drive to install older game updates or just to be able to reinstall them um, for whatever reason. Again, if you have poor internet on your PS4 or you just want to have a backup of all of your stuff uh, that you can install locally then that is how you do it. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video or found the information useful. If you were confused about any of the steps that I kind of skipped over in this video, um, because I already covered it in the previous video. So again, the previous video will be linked in the description, which goes into more detail on how to um, set this up completely. Um, so I would highly recommend you check that video out if you're confused about anything uh, that I kind of skipped over here in this one. So yeah, anyway, hope you enjoyed the video or found the information useful anyway. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll hopefully see you guys in the next one.